Now, not so long ago, they were the two most powerful men in world football. But on Monday, both Sepp Blatter and Michel Platini were shown the door by the sport. Despite the weight of evidence against them, both feel they've been wronged and have vowed to appeal. Our Sun Jung-in has the details. FIFA's Ethics Committee has banned suspended FIFA President Sepp Blatter and UEFA President Michael Platini from all football-related activities for eight years. The decision was made after the ethics judges found them guilty of breaking rules on general conduct in 2011 when Blatter paid Platini around two million U.S. dollars nine years after they claimed it was originally due. Both men denied any wrongdoings, but the committee said the payment was an abusive execution of their positions. Blatter was defiant in his response. At a press conference in Zurich on Monday, the 79-year-old pledged to fight the ban, describing the decision as totally wrong. I am now suspended eight years. Suspended eight years. But I will fight. I will fight for me and I will fight for FIFA. Suspended eight years for what? Platini was also dismissive of the ruling, saying he will challenge the ban to clear his name. But most watchers say it's unlikely they'll be able to overturn the decision. Given that Blatter will be 88 when his ban expires, it can be assumed that his era is now over after holding FIFA's top job for 17 years. Platini's bid to succeed his former mentor in the February presidential election next year also seems implausible. With two of the most recognizable candidates out of the race, the original list of seven has been whittled down to five, including Prince Ali bin al-Hussein of Jordan. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.